Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get this makeup look here. It's super fun and colorful smoky eye. These colors just scream spring to me. They're so beautiful. I love the combination of yellow and pink. I think it looks super pretty. And I pair it with a nude lip and glowy skin. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And let's get started. Okay, so I already did my foundation and I also applied some concealer underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. So today I'm going to do something a little bit more colorful. A subscriber asked me before a couple of days if I could make a yellow, pink, smoky eye. And I thought that it was a great idea because the combination of these colors is just so pretty. And in my opinion, this is also the perfect spring makeup. So here I'm doing it. And the first thing that I'm going to do, as always, is apply an eyeshadow base. Next from the Catrice Absolute Rose Palette, I'm taking a, this shade here. This is my favorite transition color when I'm working with pink or purple eyeshadows. And I'm buffing it in the crease. And I'm also taking it in the outer corner of my eyelid. Kind of creating that C shape here. Next, I'm taking this pink shade here. This is the Sleek Ultra Matte V1 palette and I'm going to apply it in the outer half of my eyelid. Now that I have something like that, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to diffuse the edges. Try to keep it just in the outer portion of your eye. Don't take it all the way in the inner corner. Next, I'm taking just a white pencil. This one is by Essence and I'm going to apply it in the inner portion of my eye. This is going to make more intense the yellow eyeshadow that I'm going to apply in a while. And with a flat brush, I'm diffusing the harsh lines and I'm making it more smooth. Next, again from that sleek palette, I'm taking the yellow eyeshadow and I'm applying it on top of that white pencil. I want to bring back the intensity of that pink eyeshadow and I'm going to apply one more layer of it in the other corner. And again with a clean blending brush, I have like four of these brushes, they're by Essence and they don't have any number or name, they just look like this. They're so affordable and handy, so... And yeah, again with a clean blending brush, I'm going to diffuse the edges of the pink eyeshadow. And I'm also blending it into the yellow so it doesn't have a harsh line in between them. Also with a bigger and fluffier brush, I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and blended and it has no product in it. I'm running underneath my lower lash line the same eyeshadow that I used in my crease. I'm keeping it a little bit more simple on the lower lash line because the lids are just like... Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. I think I'm going to use a white matte eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm going to use this one here from the Sleek palette. Next I'm going to do eyeliner and I'm going to try not to mess everything up. I'll be using the Schwing Liquid Eyeliner by The Balm. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to apply some falsies off camera and I'll be back. In my white line, I'm going to apply a white pencil. And now I'm going to finish up the face and I'll be using my favorite powder to contour. It's this one here. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Scout and Contour Kit. I'm going to contour my chin. I never do that, but I'll do it today. And as always, I'm going to apply just a little bit on the top of my forehead. For blush, I'll be using this one here, again from the same palette. And since the eyes are so intense, I'm going to apply just a little bit of blush. I'm going to highlight with the Mail Luminizer by The Balm. I want this look to be super glowy. And I'm applying it on top of my cheekbones. Also on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, above my eyebrow. I'm going to line my lips with the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in shade Vintage Rose. This is such a beautiful shade, I just, I wish it was a little bit softer so it would be easier to apply. My nails look so plastic with this nail polish. <laughs> Then I'm going with this lipstick by The Balm and it's in shade I'm a Good Kissa. Such a pretty shade and it smells so good. So this is the finished look. I love doing colorful stuff like this and I had so much fun creating it. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook, they will be listed down in the description box. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air.